What if I told you that most retirees with $1 million don't end up broke? In fact, they often finish with three, four, even $5 million. Sounds impossible, right? Stay with me, because what you're about to learn could change when you retire and how much you actually need. Here's what most Americans get wrong about retirement. We've been taught that hitting a million dollars means we start the countdown to zero. Every withdrawal feels like we're one step closer to running out. But when you look at the actual data on how retirees spend, invest, and behave, that story completely falls apart. Today, I'm breaking down the hidden math framework that explains why $1 million isn't your finish line. It's your starting point. Retirement spending drops. Naturally. Let's destroy the biggest myth first. Most people imagine retirement spending like a gas tank. You keep burning fuel until you hit empty. Real-world data tells a completely different story. Here's what actually happens. Your first few years of retirement? Spending spikes. You're traveling, finishing house projects, diving into delayed hobbies. That honeymoon phase is real. But around your mid-70s, something shifts. Energy levels change. Long international trips start feeling exhausting rather than exciting. You're not cutting back because you can't afford it. You genuinely don't want to anymore. Research tracking thousands of retired households shows clear declines in discretionary spending, travel, dining out, entertainment. Healthcare costs do rise, but they rarely outpace the savings from reduced spending elsewhere. Here's the number. Typical retired households spend around $55,000 per year, and that number doesn't climb indefinitely like people fear. Think about a couple who retires eager to see the world. After five years of European cruises and road trips, they naturally slow down. They're just as happy with weekend getaways and family visits. Their spending drops 30% without even trying. This pattern repeats across millions of households. Retirees often withdraw less than planned, not because advisors told them to, but because they genuinely don't need as much to feel fulfilled. Market growth outpaces withdrawals. Picture this. You retire with $1 million. You withdraw money every year. Two decades later, you have $3 million. How? This is where market growth becomes your silent engine. Historically, diversified stock portfolios have averaged roughly 7% annual returns over the long term. Not every year is perfect. Some bring crashes, others massive rallies. But stretched over decades, that 7% trend line holds remarkably steady. Now, let's talk withdrawals. The classic 4% rule means pulling $40,000 per year from $1 million. Sounds like you're draining the account, right? Here's the math that changes everything. You're pulling out 4%, but your investments are compounding at 7%. That three-point spread doesn't feel dramatic year one, but over 20 or 30 years, it creates outcomes most people never expect. Concrete example. A retiree starts with $1 million and withdraws $40,000 annually. After 20 years, even with market volatility, that person might still have $2 million or $3 million left. Growth quietly raced ahead in the background. Studies by planners like Michael Kitches confirmed this isn't rare. Retirees following a 4% withdrawal rate more often end retirement with larger balances than when they began. What about market crashes right after retirement? Yes, early losses hurt. But historical data shows diversified investors who stayed the course typically recovered and often ended up wealthier than they started. Zoom out to 20 or 30 years, and growth overwhelmingly outpaces withdrawals when you stick with a reasonable plan. Fear protects your wealth. One of the biggest reasons portfolios hold up isn't numbers, it's psychology. Loss aversion means people feel the pain of losing money about twice as intensely as the pleasure of gaining it. For retirees, that portfolio represents decades of sacrifice. Watching the balance dip feels heavier than seeing it grow. This leads many retirees to withdraw far less than they safely could. The 4% rule suggests $40,000 annually from $1 million. But in practice, many retirees withdraw closer to 2%, around $20,000 per year. Half the guideline. Why? Social security and pensions often cover basic needs. Dipping into principal feels psychologically risky, so they stay cautious. Imagine a couple whose portfolio grows to $1.2 million after strong market years. Logically, they could increase withdrawals. Instead, they keep taking the same $20,000. To them, touching principal feels like crossing a line. 
Meanwhile, the untouched bulk keeps compounding. This cautious behavior proves especially valuable during downturns. Modest withdrawals give investments room to rebound. What looks like fear actually functions as an invisible guardrail protecting wealth as powerfully as market returns do. How $1 million becomes $5 million. Let's put all three pieces together with real numbers. A couple retires with $1 million. Social Security provides roughly $48,000 per year. They withdraw $40,000 annually from their portfolio. Total household income, around $90,000. Here's the key. Social Security already covers more than half their expenses. The portfolio isn't bearing the full weight. Meanwhile, investments are averaging 7% growth. That three-point gap between withdrawals and growth creates compounding room. Over 20 years, that original $1 million often swells to $3 million, $4 million, or close to $5 million. Financial simulations confirm this. Under these assumptions, ending up with multiple times your starting balance is more common than running out of money. And don't forget home equity. Many retirees enter retirement mortgage-free with homes worth several hundred thousand dollars. That equity can be unlocked through downsizing or reverse mortgages, adding another security layer. The real risk? Working longer than necessary because you underestimate how resilient your wealth really is. The mindset shift retirement isn't about watching the clock on your money. It's about understanding the math so your money keeps working while you actually live. The question isn't whether your money will last. It's what you want that money to do for you. So ask yourself, is your plan built as a countdown or as a platform to live well and keep growing wealth? Three forces work together. Natural spending declines, steady market growth, and cautious psychology. Combined, they turn $1 million into lasting wealth that often grows instead of shrinks. If this shifted how you think about retirement, hit that like button and subscribe. I break down financial strategies that actually matter. No fluff, just actionable insights for smarter money decisions. See you in the next one.